Welcome to Laudanum by Example Shell, brought to you by Secure Ideas. In this brief tutorial, I'm going to walk through deploying a Laudanum script to a server and then executing some shell commands against that server. For this example, we're going to deploy to a Tomcat server that has weak or default credentials assigned to it, which is going to give us access to be able to deploy our script easily to the server. So I set up a server that's available to me uh, running on Ubuntu with some deep default credentials that now I have access to the server. One of the nice things about Tomcat is it has a way for us to deploy war files to the server. So we can go down here. I'm using Samurai WTF as my host machine that we're going to use to target the victim machine. And here we can see we can just select the cmd.war file in our laudanum directory and just click the deploy button and now we have our CMD directory available on the server. If we click that link, it's going to come up because directory browsing is not enabled. We don't actually see anything. At first, you might think it didn't work, uh, but make sure you try to go actually to the file to see if it's there. So as we can see, it actually did work. From here, we can start running shell commands against the server. So maybe we want to list out files in a directory. Uh, we can easily do that. You can see the files listed here. Maybe we want to actually view the contents of one of the files that is out in the directory. So we can do this to view the password file. And here we can see we are using a shadow file, so we don't actually see plain text passwords. But you can see how simple it is to run shell commands and view files. We could add users. Uh, really, there's a lot of stuff that we can do just by using this simple script that we uploaded. So that's a simple brief tutorial of how Laudanum works, how we can deploy it. I hope you enjoyed this and have a good day.